nice thing about a float tube is you cover a lot of water. You get to areas, you can cover a lot of water. By being on the bank, you're a little bit restricted to where you're going to cover. With retrieve rates and trying to find a fish with fishing off a tube, what you want to do is you want to find an area where you see movement of fish or you've got a good feeling that vibe you get as a fisherman that there's fish in that area. So what I'd normally like to do is vary my retrieves up. So you get on the water, you're fishing a dragon or a minnow, it depends. All those insects have different movements in the water. So you want to vary your retrieve up depending on what pattern you're fishing. So what I like to do is cast out, count to three seconds on an intermediate line. Let that fly line sink for three seconds and start a retrieve. And what I'll do is a shotgun approach, which means I'm covering water in the area around me. I'm not just casting on the same spot cast after cast. I'm casting in all different areas and shotgunning the approach around, so I'm covering that water. Now I've cast it out, I've waited three seconds and I've done a certain retrieve. The next couple of casts, you've, you've done maybe six, seven casts in that area. The next cast, cast out and count down to maybe five seconds and work it until you find what zone those fish are feeding in. It's all about depth when it comes to fishing. Those fish, depending on water temperature, are gonna hold in different water columns. Obviously, the top layer of water is gonna be a lot warmer than the water below. And there's thermoclines in water. So, very important, counting down a fly in your head so you know that cast, you let it go down five seconds, and you've retrieved a certain way over five seconds there. Then the next cast, you can go down and count eight seconds. And then all of a sudden you start getting takes. You know those fish are in that sort of depth. Now an intermediate line is going to sink at about one and a half inches to, in, to two inches per second. So you know how much it's actually sunk per second you've counted down. Very important and makes a big difference to your catch rate finding the zone those fish are feeding in.